Hello guys and welcome to episode 38 of my Civilization Beyond Earth playthrough playing as Brasilia using the Purity Affinity. And today we're on a home run in order to destroy the rest of the nations on the planet and take the rest of the capitals we need in order to get the domination victory which we are working toward. Now there is only two left before we get it. Currently we control a lot. Uh, it doesn't give me the exact number but I think it's around five we already own. We need two more. So we're getting there and we've already made most of our moves for this turn. Let me just sort out what this predator is doing. I could possibly use it to attack Genali in order to do some damage but I don't think that will make a difference because Genali will heal the same amount in the next turn. So we'll just leave that as it is on air interception. Same with this predator and that one as well. Job done there, we can move on to the next turn. Not many units going to be moving about for Kavatha because we destroyed most of them in the last turn. Although a few going to arrive and harass my Dragoon. Possibly even destroy it because their Dragoons and Battlesuits are actually pretty powerful. Not powerful enough to destroy my unit though. I think the majority of those units are too late to defend Genali. I might have to be careful though. We shall see. So let's uh, increase the strength of this unit. And let's get these True Lev Destroyers to start pounding Genali into the ground. I think if we focus our fire onto Genali, we can actually take it over. And it's weird because I still have a sound bug occurring from the last episode. I believe it was the predators in the last episode that were sound bugging. But whenever the attack animations are occurring, it's not actually working properly, which is kind of lame. But let's try and take over Genali this turn with brute force just by using my centurions if I can. I need to also use my predators by the looks of things. We can bombard the city a lot in order to make sure we can actually take it over. So let's do that. Let's take the civilian unit and we will annex the city. So this settlement originally Oh, it was owned by the African Union and we've just taken it back. Now we've got to focus on Mandira so we're going to do that. I'm going to see how far I can get this away. I might need to give it new recruits in order to recover the HP. I think I'm going to do that and then uh, flee in the opposite direction. Now we can possibly use these predators to attack although I think that is too far to go for that predator there. So what I'm going to do is actually move it on into Genali, although that might be quite risky. So instead I'll move it to Ion. I don't want to move anything into Genali just yet in case the battle suits and the CNDRs and so on actually manage to destroy my units. So let's get these True Lev destroyers forward. And uh, we will also move forward these True Battle Suits. Uh, let's see if we can get this Predator over to Yuria from Bongani. We have a True Battle Suit at Berat. Let's move that toward the Pan Asians. The Predator can head down towards this is Chignik. And this one can actually head over to Masego. So I think there's a couple of predators here I might be able to use. Or have I already used them both? I think I used them both to attack Genali, didn't I? I probably should have used these ones from Xerxes to attack Genali, and then I could have used the ones in Ion to attack the enemy melee units. That probably would have been better. Hmm. 
So what do we do with the ones in Cersei now? I think we just leave them as they are. Let's go ahead and choose production in our other settlements. So we'll get the Zena Sanctuary there. We'll move on uh, this Centurion. Actually, I might just set it to fortify until healed on that tile. So it does so this turn. At Benat, I think we want to get a Zen Sanctuary. And at Tuspec, we want a Thorium Reactor. Some easy energy there. At Istachetnik, we'll get the Zen Sanctuary as well. You can see it's using up our Zen Mass res Reserves every time I'm building these buildings. And we'll go to Clinic in Genali as soon as possible. And let's hope that Genali doesn't actually get taken over this turn by Kavatha. It's pretty much what I'm hoping on. It looks like it will get taken over. Nope, never mind. While defending, your city of Genali killed a KPC in the arm. What the hell was that attack? Okay, what I'm going to do is actually look at the buildings in that particular settlement. Period. All of a sudden, everyone's declaring war on me. I think we, the Kavathans declared war on me in the last episode. Now we have the Slavs doing so in this episode. They're going to actually catch me off guard here because I was not expecting this at all. Very well. Let's see what happens. So the enemy predator is going to take a lot of damage. I am bringing a predator over there to defend that settlement actually. We do have a dragoon there that can attack their CNDRs. And the CNDRs aren't upgraded. So that's a bit silly of them. Fortunately for me, I have a lot of energy to buy units immediately. Unfortunately, they have a lot of predators. <laughs> and they are doing a lot of damage. We might actually lose some settlements. This could get interesting. As long as I don't lose Uspek, I don't have to actually worry about this war at all. As long as I don't lose Krabrost. Now, for our productions, let's go to building more military units because we are going to need them now. Let's get more true battle suits. We will get more dragoons. Very important that we build these immediately. And basically, in Yuria. We might be able to pop out a military unit before it gets taken over, but unlikely. Let's just get a warden there. We can improve the power of this True Lev Destroyer. That's great. And at Yuria, what will we attack? I guess the Devastator. I don't think it will really make a difference. I think we've lost Yuria to the enemy. At Uzbek, uh, we will attack and the Xena Swarm, I think, because it will do the most damage. Svartoi, we can hit the Xena Swarm on the sea, because that will probably kill the unit. There we go. I think we have a city that can do an anti-orbital strike. Yes, we do, so let's do that. That works out very nicely. Let's get this battle suit to come down and help defend these settlements. This Predator can move to Krabros. And this Dragoon, that needs to move into Krabros in order to let itself heal. Can I rebase to Yuria from there? No, I cannot. So instead, I guess we will move to Genlali. I'm surprised, I'm really, really surprised Genlali didn't get taken over in the last turn. But that's fine by me. We can use this Lev tank to destroy this Dragoon. 
We can use this Lev Destroyer to attack the true battle suit. And I think we might be able to kill it off with the Bagoon. So I'm actually going to do that. We can move forward the rest of our units after rebasing this Predator. I think I'm actually going to send that toward the Slavs. Centurions need to move forwards here. Get these Lev Destroyers to continue to move on. Battle suit there can come over to Mandira as well. And what do these predators want to do? I guess we need to finish off this true battle suit because it didn't actually get destroyed by the dragoon. He's dead now. Let's capture this worker with the centurion because we can do so in one turn. And I will just tell that to do nothing for now. Automate that worker. And we will air intercept with that Predator and that one as well. And this one from Dorado. This can head over toward Slavs. Did I did that not work before? Like, why is this not working? Because I think I already did that or tried to do that. Let's just set this one to air interception. So it's pretty important that we defend this. So what I'm going to do is by possibly a true battle suit here. Yeah, I think we'll get one there. And I will also get something for Zvatoy. I think we'll get a Dragoon. I think I'll buy a Dragoon. Yeah, let's do that. Right. Let's see what other attacks we can make. I can kill off this CNDR, so we'll do that. This Dragoon can take out this Warden, or at least try. I don't think it can in one turn, but worth the move. I'll bring the Devastator into Istachiknik and set that on to Fortify. And what we can do is use the Devastator from Istachiknik to hit other units three tiles away once it's set up. I think the Slavs may take over a couple of settlements this turn. Not much of a big deal. Just important that we get our hands on Mandira. We can sort out the rest of our problems afterward. So Uzpek, we've probably lost that. The defense there is just terrible. I don't think we did lose this pack. That's really strange. Yuria's got to, got to have gone. Come on. We've got to lose a settlement. <laughs> I really, really expected to. Although it's great if we don't. Those predators are going to do enough to Yuria to, take it, to let the Slavs take it over. So that's fine. Apparently I need Xenomas because we lost out on a lot of it there. Units which require it will fight much less effectively while I don't have enough of it. The fact that human beings were able to get to new worlds with the obtuse computer sciences of the seeding is simultaneously impressive and embarrassing. Cybernetics complete. We can get the phasal transporters going. So now it's time to work on some of those phasal transporters. They will help us out a lot. One turn for those to be built. Let's get a few of those underway. And what we can do at the rest of those settlements is build more military units. So let's get a, a warden, I think we possibly want. We need some more ranged units. So let's actually go for those devastators. Get one in Tenang, possibly, although... More things need to be built here, so let's go for a civil crash. And at Kala, we will get a Terra Vault. Let's get a Vivarium first. Freeland, we will want possibly a node bank. Civil crash. 
Uh, Cersei, we want a rocket battery, maybe. It's kind of on the front line. But let's just build a true battle suit. Affidel. Again, another true battle suit. We need a lot of those. More melee units. We have plenty of true lev destroyers. We just don't have the melee units to back them up. That's probably the biggest problem at the moment. Krabrost, let's get a Predator. And at Uspec. Is Uspec? I think it is. We should probably work on some military units as well. So let's get a true battle suit there. Now we can choose a new research. So I guess what we'll do is just research random stuff. Let's go toward Astrodynamics. And what's this all seer? Orbital units removes all covert agents and intrigue from any city in range, prevents any covert agent activity or intrigue increase as long as it orbits. That is pretty incredible. Astrodynamics first though. And we're very close to just completing the entire web. I think you actually get an achievement for that. That would be cool. Either way, we have work to do. Let's uh, attack the CNDR from Krabros. Get this Lev tank. Uh, to also attack the CNDR, I think. This Dragoon needs to fortify until heal, so we will do that. And Uzpek can actually attack the Senna Swarm to wipe it out. Don't think we're going to be able to do enough to do to defend that settlement though. Time to move these true Lev destroyers into position. Let's kill off this Devastator with the Centurion there. 91 damage. How frustrating. Predator. May as well use that to attack a unit on the ground. Let's hit these Xenoswarms. Swarms. We have a true battle suit here. I don't really want to place it on the tile of Uspec because it's going to get killed if I do that. So let's keep it off that tile and attack from the side. 88 damage done there. Let's see how much damage the unit does in that settlement in Zvatoy. The Dragoon, not really going to do a much to the, to the True Lead Destroyer, but we need to take out this Dragoon here so that we can't be taken over at Zvatoy. So we'll attack that with the Dragoon and then the settlement. Probably should have attacked it with the settlement first, because then my Dragoon would have taken less damage. Sorry, my bad. And anyway, I'm going to continue moving on these uh, True Lev Destroyers. Really important that I do that. We'll get this Dragoon out of the way so I can move this one on as well. True Battle Suit can come down from Fiel. Actually, no, we don't need to. I think I might keep this Battle Suit up here to attack the Pan-Asians from the east side. I'm going to heal up this Dragoon and possibly we can use it to take out a unit. Let's uh, hit the Warden here. Not quite sure if that's going to kill off the unit. It did. That's really helpful. Devastator. Can it fire on anything? No, it cannot. That's a shame. Let's uh, move it toward Uria. I think it might get picked off by a Dragoon if I leave it in that position. But to be fair, I'm not really concerned about losing Devastators right now. I accidentally put that onto Air Interception. I need to actually move that over to Seric or something to intercept aircraft over there. This Predator. Uh, let's use that to take out this Devastator if we can. No, I think that's just out of range. And we can attack that CNDR though, so we'll do that. Probably do that with all of the aircraft I have.
Oh, we destroyed the uh, CNDR with two strikes. That is uh, pretty good. Okay, I'm not sure what to do with the third Predator then. I guess I'll just put it on air interception for now. And that destroyer can set up. We'll move forward this Warden and this Basil Suit. And we have the Lev Tank there to move forward as well. So many units to move. That will have to do. Uspec starving. Trade unit destroyed. How annoying. Yuria captured. Not really much I could have done about that. But yeah. I, I guess we're doing okay. Slavs really caught, caught me off guard declaring war on me like that. But it's not an issue. I will just make them pay for it. Get this Centurion forward. Along with his battle suit. And this one as well. They're all getting to the front line now. Going to be overwhelming Kavitha. And then taking on the Slavs. I think the reason that the nations declared war on me was mainly due to the fact my military numbers were actually quite low. You can see as I've bought a lot more troops, my energy income has just dropped significantly. So Zvatoy actually got taken over. That's terrible. This peck also got taken over. Wow. Slav's doing some serious work. We should be able to form a defense quite well. I'm pretty sure it's time I move that Devastator back into Isachingo if I can. Although it's taken a lot of damage, yeah. It did actually die because it got hit by like five predators. Now the Pan Asians are hating me as well. Very well. Okay. So we have some trouble on our hands. Slavs getting too big for their boots. You may say, I remember. But we must also remember what our parents remember. And what our parents' parents remember as well. Deep memory is ours as a wonder. Works out really well. At Ciudadela, we will now work on a Zenosactory. And at Santo Adrio, I think we just need to pump out the military units, to be honest. So let's actually do that instead, instead of working on all these buildings. Get a Centurion at Manuel. Meat shields. Probably a better term for them. Let's, let's get a co cloning plant at Fiel. And at Rangi, we want a Lev Tank at Jimboomba. So tempting to just go to like the Zeno Sanctuary, but I don't think we necessarily need them as much as we need troops right now. So we'll continue to pump out true battle suits and dragoons wherever we can. Apobeda. This is a settlement that can work on something else, like a vivarium. Upgrade that predator there. And that can take out that devastator. Awesome. This one can air intercept. We need to get these phasal transporters set up. We'll actually put one over near Uspec, I think. Keep it three tiles away. That will do. I'm going to get this Lev Destroyer to attack Mandira if I can. It actually can't. So we're going to have to move that up onto a hill, hill tile. I'm going to move the Centurion back and I can move the true Lev Destroyer forwards. We'll get that one to move adjacent that Lev Destroyer forward as well as that one. And my Centurion there is actually in a pretty bad spot. 
can't really get anywhere useful at the moment. Get the true lev tank forwards. This one can move into friendly territory actually. And then I can fortify it until healed. So let's move this predator over to Krabros. I'm going to possibly attack this peck with this true battle suit. Really depends on my movement points. I think I'm actually going to use this damaged Dragoon to attack Uzpek, and we'll take that back, back over. And that will destroy the unit inside. It's annoying that I have to go through the martial law again. I'm going to attack this Dragoon over here with that Predator. And the true left tank here can actually move up and then attack this true left tank. I don't think a true left tank can take over a settlement, so that actually works in our favour. Their true left destroyers are actually going to be a problem. Let's attack that one. Let's get this phasal transporter up near the Pan-Asians. And we will choose production in a spec. And this third phasal transporter. Maybe I could just place it in the middle of the Russians' lands. Really not sure. Maybe we could just like place it here. Yeah, that'll do. I think everything is nearly done. I think I'm going to phasal transport this Devastator to uh, Serik. See that? Then what I can do is bring these Dragoons in. I'll bring that one in and phasal transport it all the way over to Serik as well. You can see how much quicker that is rather than moving them all the way across the map. Then that one can just uh, sleep. Move forward that warden. Great. And that is all done. So we lost a Devastator. We lost a Dragoon. We lost Uspek, but we captured it back. And we lost Fatoy. LED made peace with Samatar Jamba Bar. And that is everything done. So Mandira attacking one of my two left destroyers. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm really just interested to see what the Slavs do. They will probably take back Uzbek, no doubt. And I think my true battle suit might actually die. Yes, it did. But after that, unfortunately, it has been my time. We do have a lot to do for this turn. But I am going to have to leave it till the next episode, where we will be taking care of the rest of the Slavs putting them back in their place. And they're making a good amount of progress, which is actually quite scary. But we'll, we will take over Mandira very shortly, and we will gather our forces to push back the Slavs. So 
Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Thank you.